Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Across the Obelisk. It is a roguelite deck builder um, that I I have a couple videos out already, so this is my third one. Uh, this is a press run, though. Uh, at the end of my second episode, I uh, I died, I failed, so uh, it's the press run. I wanted to start this up because uh, they did a patch uh, about a week ago, some big changes to cards. So they gave out these chests uh, for compensations for all the changes to the cards, so I'm going to grab these chests. So that's... That is a lot of currency. So that's going to really open up. Uh, I can make a lot of upgrades and changes to my decks. So I'm going to go I'm going to go do that uh, off camera because it would take forever to do on camera. And I'll come back and I'll just quickly go over what I what's in my decks and what the strategy is going to be. And then we'll go out in the world and we'll see how far we can go. Hopefully we can uh, finish it. But, you know, who knows? Could be tricky, but I'll be back either way. All right, well, I believe I'm ready to start, so let's just take a quick look at my decks here. So I took out most of the slashing damage and put in uh, blunt damage instead. I also made it, him a little more support-based. I put in the extra piercing howl. I put in intimidate. Uh, obviously improved most of the block stuff. So yeah, a couple shield bashes. I think that should work for him. I didn't make a whole lot of changes to his deck. Well, I guess I did. He doesn't really have any front monster only things anymore. I wanted a little more, uh, I guess this is, but that's about it. He added some poison, he added a little bit of ice. And the reason I added the ice is because with Evelyn, I'm going pretty heavy with an ice deck. I know fire's good and fire's probably better. Almost all her stuff's upgraded too, you'll notice. Um, but I don't know. I just, there's too many things that are just immune to fire or really resistant to fire. And him, I did make a lot of changes. I added the healing rain, uh, prayer protection, dispel magic, you know, improved some stuff. I took out things that give you sight. I don't really, not a big fan of those cards. So yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I guess I should look at the equipment I got. Let's get some little extra damage. A little tankier, chance to dispel. This is a really good item. Poison dagger. That's why I went with some poison stuff. Uh, and some, some extra bandages, a little bit of extra damage, a little bit of speed. She gets an extra energy every three turns. Starts with evasion, which is nice because he's usually going to go last. A little extra HP. Would have been nice to get him a weapon, but is what it is. So we're going to dive into it. Let's see how we do here. So I'm a big fan of doing the hatch. Because it's a lot of extra, although... <laughs> So this, these here are quests to unlock new characters. Now this character, this and this, I've done. So we're definitely not going to go either here or here. This is a rare uh, event, so I'm tempted to go there, but I do like this hatch. It's basically like an extra area. It gives you more XP. So I'm going to do the hatch. I'm going to go up here and down towards the hatch, and then here. This is an optional boss up here. We'll do that as well, because we want we want to get as much XP as possible to level up, essentially. So let's see how this goes here. Well, this is good. Everybody except their healer goes before them. So let's enrage, draw an extra card, get some extra energy. Obviously, we will Piercing House, slow them down, and make them uh, less less resistant. We should be able to hit them pretty hard now. So let's uh, do Bluff first. Let's just draw a card. All right, so let's do this. And this so we're gonna have two energy carry over that's fine he has he has cards in his deck to let him give himself block so now no guarantee i drew any of them but i have a feeling maximum one of those is going to be alive <laughs> so let's do this let's just draw a card it's free gives us some block all right so we have five energy we definitely can't cast everything here um so let's just kill this front thing. And then what? Do the ice shot, I guess. We want to do Hunter's Mark first. It's Hunter Mark at first. That'll almost kill it. She'll have no problems finishing that off. I doubt we'll get the last one killed, though. Unless she draws insanely well. She can cast everything, at least. She might be able to. We'll cast that on him. We might be able to kill everything.
Let's do that on him. Finish him off. Then hit him there. Boom. Done. Didn't even let them have a turn. That's a good start. That means my decks are pretty strong, I feel like. Now, obviously, it's usually a little harder than that because this is uh, roguelite. We, we basically we carry over progress from some of our progress. The one before. I don't think I need another shield bash. Heal X. Blunt damage. X equals your hand times two. Then you got to discard one. Huh. It's front monster only, though. I don't like front monster only. Ricochet is not a bad card. So we're going to take Ricochet. And we are not doing fire. And... And those are just okay. So we'll take the shards. Alright, so if we're doing hats, we got to go up here. Crops on fire. Near the farm, you come across a burn field and a burning house. In front of the house, there is a fire imp causing fires next to some burning cornies. Even half burned, the house may contain something valuable. You'll have to deal with the fire imp and cornies first. You can deal with the imp investigators or ignore him. Attack teams head on. Hide in the cornfields and attack by surprise. I can try to cast some rain to scare the imp. Lower than one, she does not have a lot in her deck. Or sneak away. Can we get lower than six? Probably. Let's try that. So it basically draws a card from everybody's deck. Adds them up. And yep, that is definitely lower than six. So now we get the fight. And we get a little bonus to the fight. And we get 40 XP. Now that's 40 XP divided amongst the four. So it's 10 each. You need 160 XP to level up. And you get nice things for leveling up in this game. You really... If, that was, if that's one hint I could give new players, is try to level up your characters as soon as possible. So let's put on him, I guess. And then we will Piercing Hell. And we will... Yeah, this is going to hit them pretty hard because I just... They have like very little resistances left, right? Which is good. And now they're really going to have <laughs> barely any resistances. See, that's, see how the list of damage is 11? But it's actually doing 16. That's because its resists are actually in the negative, And we have this uh, crack. Which makes us do one extra blunt damage. But that's why we do so much damage there. So he'll be dead for sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So let's draw an extra card here. See what we get. Let's draw another extra card. See what we get. So let's do Ricochet, so it'll deal 9, and then jump twice, and each time it does a little more damage. Beautiful. We need to do 19 to him. That does 18. He's taken 4 fire damage at the start of his turn. So that will kill him. Or he will die from fire damage at the start of his turn. And we'll do that to him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not going to get a turn. Yeah, no, the deck's, I think the deck's pretty good. <laughs> the enemy hasn't even had a turn yet, but that's because all that extra golden shards they gave me definitely helps. All right, so, oh, Pommel. Pommel's kind of our bread and butter card. So we'll take another one. Um, We're not going with any bleed. That's a little expensive where we are right now. We're not going fire. It really wants me to go fire, though, apparently. And I think we're good there. Nothing wrong with taking the shards. Alright, so you're at the entrance of the burning house. Clearly this was a poor man's house. And you can see that the contents inside are already destroyed or burned. Before you leave, a chest catches your eye. Although the chest is still on fire. The fire is spreading rapidly and there will be nothing left in a few moments. So you venture into the flames for a poor man's chest? Yes. Higher than three. We definitely didn't get higher than three last time. But we just barely did this time. So we 80 gold. 56 experience and get to loot some treasure although the so usually you would get your pick of six items but these slots are basically ruined because of the fire so for him i think we'll just take the gold for him we'll take the amulet because we don't have anything in that slot and anything is better than nothing 
Well, I mean, 6 HP is better than nothing. For him, we will take the money, I think. Yeah. Now, he doesn't have a weapon, but he also doesn't do any lightning damage, so we're just going to take the money. Take the money and run, I think. Perp. Alright, so if we're headed to the hatch, we got to go down this way. Alright, Obelisk Corruption. So this is like an optional thing that makes it harder, but then we get to do one of these rewards. So all monsters gain extra holy damage and holy resistance. The combat start, all heroes suffer. See, we're killing so efficiently right now, I feel like we should probably just do this. And that is a good card. For, uh... So let's do that. We could do the rare equipment shop. We do have some money, actually. Let's do the rare equipment shop. I feel like maybe these two will definitely be dead, so I'm not too worried about this. Basically, anytime they hit me, they, they heal for nine, but there's just not going to be that many of them around, right? So let's do this. And then this. And that. He's really close to dead. I'll throw a shield on myself. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I don't expect them to get many turns. Although we didn't get her slow off this time. He drew a pretty bad hand. Let's look at the top four cards of her deck. See if we can make sure her hand is good. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. We'll finish that off, I guess. Because why not, right? Start on him. Actually, we should have done this first. But, didn't. Such is life. Mistakes were made. But we will survive. Alright, so let's do this. Get two extra energy. Now we can start swinging. So that's going to do ten. So let's put that on him. Put that on him. Do this all monsters. And then that. Finish him off. So they will get turns. That's fine. They're taking 7 fire damage. And then 7 spark damage to each other. So yeah, so for anybody who doesn't play, I guess I've been kind of going fast. I've been assuming most people watching have played before. So this means they'll suffer 7 fire at the start of the turn, and they have lower fire resistance. Spark deals 7 damage to the target's sides. So they'll deal. So he'll take 7 from the fire, and then he'll deal 7 to him with the lightning. And then the other one will go and do 7 to himself. So they'll be almost dead. I mean, they'll heal up a bit when they hit me, but I think they're actually healers. Yeah, so they're just healing. So they healed, and they put water, which removed the fire. So all my fire dots are gone, but they won't get another turn. In theory, likely. So this is my healer. Still dishing out some pretty good damage. Yeah, they're not going to get another turn. One of these, so poison obviously is uh, four does it does four damage, but poison is at the end of the turn. All the other ones are at the start, and poison though also goes through shielding, which the other stuff doesn't, which is interesting. Uh, so let's do a ricochet, and then I guess we will do that. And what's more damage? That's more damage. I guess it doesn't matter. It's dead. <laughs> it was dead either way. I was trying to be efficient, but I didn't. I really didn't need to be. All right, so let's look at his cards. Deals X blunt damage. X equals your shielding times 0.5. But it applies days, which is speed minus six. I really like days. I think I'm going to take this shield charge. And then for him, it's free. 
I already got a, a speed buff though. I think I'm good. I'll take the shards there. I already have enough frost bolts. Shuffle three of those into your deck. Oh, that is kind of tempting. Like, that'd be really good for boss fights, like longer fights. I mean, I know I'm blowing through everything right now. But long term, that could be a really good card. Hmm. I'll think about that. Now let's look at this. Dispel. I wouldn't mind another Dispel, but... Vile Lance. We already have one Vile Lance. I don't want a second one right now. Heals for six. Dispels. Dark. And gives them Mind Holy and Shadow Resistance. In my experience, Mind Holy and Shadow Damage aren't that common. So I'm not that worried about it. So I'm just going to take the Shards here. This is interesting. This is not a card I've used before. Yeah, let's try it. Let's take it. It also has the... Uh... Actually, I'll, I'll come... So I'm at the store. This is... Oh, so this is good. Healing done plus one. He doesn't have a weapon. So that's perfect. Worth it just for that. All resistance is plus six. Once per turn when you play defense, draw a card. That's pretty good. What's he have? Max HP. Hmm... I don't know, I think this is better. What else do we got? He already has the Morning Star, right? Yeah. Give her a little extra. I'm going to give her a little extra speed. That 7% resistance to those is kind of meh. So I'm going to stack up speed on her because we want to make. She's a damage dealer. We want to make sure she goes before the enemies, right? She already has the leather boots. I don't know, for a rare item shop, there doesn't seem to be that many rare items. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Alright, into the hatch we go. So, come across the house in ruins and inside you see a large hatch. Try to open the hatch, but it's properly closed. A few seconds later, a voice speaks to you through the hatch. Only those touched by the flames. Then the voice remains silent, as if waiting for a passphrase. So we can leave. We're not going to leave. We jump on the hatch. The problem will be who will land on their feet. So basically, each of my people is going to draw a card. If they get lower than two, they're fine. But if they don't get lower than two, they damage their feet, which means a crappy card gets inserted into their deck. Or we can try to open it together, and we got to collectively get higher than four. But if we don't, we don't get in. Right? As long as one of our people get lower than two here, we get in. So I'm going to do this and just hope at least... I was going to say, I'm fine if even two of my people uh, failed the check, but hey, we went four for four, so that's a good sign. A little extra XP, too, because like I was saying, we want as much XP as possible. So now we're in the hatch. So it's like a whole little mini area. So let's, uh, let's hit the first event. We can leave. We're not going to leave. Actually, let's read this first. You are inside the hatch. Here you can see what at first glance seems to be a normal basement, but at the end of the room you can see a door with three pigmen keeping watch. They are new to this place, and they don't seem very excited about having to stand guard. In fact, one of them is lying down and almost asleep. The other two doesn't seem to be very smart either, but they could raise the alarm depending on how you approach. So we could leave. We're not going to leave. We just went through all that effort to get in here. We can charge them directly so they can't call reinforcements. We can act as if you were one of them and go ahead. And we'd have to draw a group lower than six, which I feel pretty good about. Or they don't seem very smart. Let me try to intimidate them. Magnus higher than one. So you can check. So let's look at Magnus' deck. He has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of 20 cards that are higher than one. So that's what, 30% chance? I'm gonna take this lower than six and hope. Uh, oh, <laughs> we almost did it. So we, so we don't get kicked out, but we gotta, so each of my people get this crappy card in their deck, which sucks. And now we still gotta fight. But it's fine. We'll be fine. I think. I think we'll be fine. All right, so we got fives. So we can't do everything. Let's do a pommel. And we'll do... Do I want to do double pommel? And one shield bash? And that'll leave me... Because if you don't spend your energy, it does carry over the next round. Yeah, let's do that. 
or I can do that, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna need that block. So I'm just gonna let that energy carry over. I forgot that I draw a card on a defense. Because of my new uh new equipment I just got. So let's do this, gives us two extra energy, but next turn we get one less energy. But it'll let, let us cast everything here. So that won't quite finish him off. That will with the bleed. So let's do that. So it'll bleed to death at the start of his turn. It'll take five damage from the bleed. So now we'll start on the next guy. So this um, applies spy poison. More importantly, vulnerable. Reduces his resists. So then we'll just start hitting him. Hopefully we can have the this guy dead as well. So she's got to do 32 damage to kill him before his turn. If she does at least 27, he'll die at the end of his turn. But I'd rather him not get a turn at all. But this is not the greatest hand for that. See, this card isn't great because <laughs> it's more of a long-term card. It's not great right now. And it has this thing right here, which means we will always draw this in our opening hand. Can we? You know what? I think I can kill him, even if I use Tome of Intellect. So let's do transmission instead. We won't. We won't cast the tome. So we'll do that. Do that. And yeah, definitely kill him. That's some overkill. Like I said, that tome of intellect. That's a long-term card. It's not great right now, obviously. But as we keep going, it'll it'll be good. So we'll put some regen on all our people. Get some block on her. Not much else we can do. We don't have any damage. We don't really need to uh, heal. So that's fine. Let's finish this sucker off. Hunter's Mark. And a Rupture. Oh, let's go with Poison Shot. And we will look at her deck. She has four energy. So she won't be able to do everything, so let's get rid of one of the Brass Bolts. Hopefully draw some cheap stuff that she can actually use. Ideally. So I didn't get any damage at all here. But I can slow him down and make him more vulnerable. Give everybody a bunch of blocks just in case. Oh, there's some damage. And then we'll just end our turn. And then we'll finish them off here. She should be able to finish them. Yeah. Just boom. Boom. Dead. Easy peasy. Ooh, new card unlocked. Necrotic burst. Deal X shadow damage. X equals your discard pile. Oh, wow. That could be good. Huh. Interesting. Alright, so let's go look up what we got here. Grant one inspire, so they would draw one extra card. And dispels slow. I don't know, that's pretty good. But and it is for free, I mean it's eh, it's pretty situational. We won't bother with that. We already have one of those. I'm trying to avoid small weapons. And we'll take the money. Take the money here, or not money shards, we'll take the shards. And I think I'll take the shards there too. And then we'll go up. Alright, more corruption. All monsters gain lightning damage, lightning resist. Add one storm to a random monster. I think that's fine. They don't do lightning damage. So let's do another rare equipment shop, I guess. So yeah, so he has that in his deck, so we gotta make sure he dies. Shouldn't be a big issue though. Just once we hit him with that. Of course we gotta hit the front monster first, but and everybody's slow and weaker. And I now have a lot of defense. <laughs> 
not his best turn. But, I mean, like I said, he's more of a support tank now. He's not really a damage dealer. Oh, wow, I wish I would have drew some more. Ugh. <laughs> a lot of expensive stuff. I'm not going to use the ice shot, I don't think. Do the ricochet. Oh, it didn't go to him. That's I wanted it to go to him. <laughs> She's the one I really wanted dead. And she deal 33 damage. He is marked, so each mark is an extra damage taken. And he is super vulnerable. So I might be able to kill him. What did I draw here? Yeah, I forgot about that. So obviously we'll put the lance on them just for the four freezing charges. So what the freezing charges do? Um, extra cold resistance or less cold resistance and if you get I think it's six of on there they start taking speed less speed yeah yeah actually that'll kill that'll kill them because of all the vulnerable and stuff and the poor resistances that's pretty crazy actually I should have AoE'd first that was a misplay <laughs> misplay by me Oh, I'm not too worried about her. She, whatever. It's one, it's one person. She can't do much, I don't think. Oh, we're almost gonna be able to kill her, actually. <laughs> not quite. So let's uh, get some extra shielding. Just make sure she can't do anything. That we don't like. So we cast that dispel more for the buffer. So now the next harmful effect is prevented. Yeah, see? We're fine. We still haven't really been attacked, have we? <laughs> Gotta get through that shield. They're just about through. He should be able to finish her off. Yep. Piece of cake. Ooh. Monster. I'm, I'm taking one of these. I just got to figure out which one. But I'll think about it. I'll come back to his. I already have one of those. I don't like that. He's already fast enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the shards there. Ooh, an extra icicle. I think I'll take the take the extra icicle. So this shadow man, healing for twelve for one energy is really good. But you're applying two dark to the person you're healing, and you're suffering for um, mental whatever damage yourself. It's not mental damage; it's mental. I forget what it's called, but um, I'm gonna take it. I think that's a pretty good card. Back monster, front monster. Draw a card or deal crack. And this deals more damage as well. Let's take the let's take the draw. This is just the same store, isn't it? That we already were at. That's kind of disappointing. So let's go do the statue here. At the end of the hall, you find a large stone statue of an imp. Though the placement of the statue is suspicious, it can be clearly seen it is used as an altar of some kind. You found imps before wandering around freely, and the statue may have something to do with it. What do you want to do? Leave? Probably not going to leave. You do not want to touch this altar and be surrounded by imps by accident. That's fair, though. Examine. Carefully you inspect the statue to find something unusual lower than five or smash the statue uh so that it can no longer be used higher than five problem is like the probably most common result we could get is five but even if we fail these there's not a big deal actually i'm feeling hmm i did just put a three cost card in his deck i'm feeling the higher than five and maybe 
Oh, see, yeah, we got to fight. So it didn't matter which one we took. So now we have to fight Statue. That's fine. It's fine. He he summons himself. So this this will probably be a longer fight than what we're used to. I'm gonna do this though. Ah, oh, can't use that. Ooh. Ah, oh, can't quite kill him. But he's almost dead. <laughs> Just gotta look at him funny and he dies here. So he's immune to poison. And bleed. And a lot of things. <laughs> as you would kind of expect. So let's uh, start working on him actually as well. They should have cast up root first. That was a mistake. Kind of screwed that up. So this might be a bit longer of a fight, so we're definitely going to keep Tome of Intellect around. He's kind of almost a mini-boss. Ugh, Blue Nose is going to draw all this expensive stuff, though. But we're going to put that on him. He's immune to fire as well. He's immune to a lot of things. Now the question is, do I want a Tome of Intellect? Yeah, that's Tome of Intellect. Then we will... Yeah, let's hit the statue. What do you got for me, Imp? Really? That's all you got? Very scary. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh... We're kind of finishing off the little Imp here. Do I really need to heal anybody? Technically, I could take a heal. We'll save that, though. Save that energy. Carry that energy over. I think he's going to summon an imp. Yeah. But I think if we kill him, we don't have to kill the rest of the imps. So maybe we'll just focus him down. When well, we got too bad that he's immune to poison. <laughs> and bleed. And everything. We only have three energy here. Let's actually finish that off and hit it for 16. We would have had more energy. We could have done a lot more. Unfortunately, most of his stuff is front monster only. Put that there. Do that. And we'll do that, I guess. Depending on what she draws. No, that is not a hand that can kill that off. Well, let's hit it hard. This is random monster, so we'll see what happens, I guess. It's almost dead. Does he summon another imp? Oh, he does summon another imp. Awesome. Can we kill it? Not with this hand. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Oh, let's get some regens going and to get rid of the fires. Oh, let's get a barrier up on you. And a little heal, I guess. He's dead to start next turn, so it's all good. So I'm pretty sure I don't have to kill the extra amps. Just gotta kill the statue. I only need to deal 10 damage to it. Might not. Depends on this deflex. Oh no, deflected right away. Oh no, I do gotta kill these. Well, shiver me timbers, I was wrong. Alright, well we can kill it, that's fine. That's fine with me. Okay, I only got three here. Let's do that. And this. Oh, good draw. Good draw. <laughs> There we go. Problem solved. Actually quite a bit of money and XP. What is this? 
X equals your bleed. Assume your bleed salpulate. Where does X come into play? I don't understand that card. Maybe the non-upgraded version, there's an X cost somewhere? Anyone. Huh. So they really want to give me stuff to dispel bleed. <laughs> That's pretty good for one. I'm going to take that. Um, front monster only. I'm going to pass. Do not need any more scroll of intellects. I'll take the shards there. Grant one inspire. Purge fury. Dispel those. Those are not things you see often. So I'm going to pass on that. Another shadow mend. This one's upgraded. If I hadn't have already taken the other one, I would take this one. But I think I'll pass on that. And I'll pass on that and just take the shards. Oh, there's there's extra treasure room here, but because I failed that event, I guess I don't get to use it. That kind of sucks. All right, so this guy's a little mini boss. We are going to fight him in the next episode. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you want me to keep making Across the Obelisk videos. I know I made a couple... Gotta be a couple weeks ago now. I'm just getting back to it now. I do enjoy this game. I'm just busy with a lot of other stuff right now. But let me know if you enjoy this one. Uh, join my Discord. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Be good to each other. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.